So anti um SG so anti SG been saying anti SJW for a long time. So and so uh, anti LGBT is still a thing. Wow. You know like I I mean I mean this has been been you know, you've had people like Jerry Jerry the fat fat ass Falwell um in the past. You know, good riddance he's gone. Um he's gone because yeah. We don't like to hear hear his fat mouth open up. But but this this is this, this is funny how how something that really isn't an issue nowadays in society is still made a big deal out of. And it's one of the problems with race as well, is that we continue to make race an issue and I don't I don't really see why we need to. I mean, I can already I can already say everything I need to say about this with one quotation from Anton LaVey's Satanic Bible, and there you go. That is how I feel on on the on the subject. Is it all that it is? Is this one guy saying this, one guy saying that? Mainly people hiding behind behind the pulpit and using the pulpit to propagate their beliefs rather than expressing them as their beliefs. It's, it's one of the reasons why I don't like religion. Because one one could argue that all of, or at least that's one aspect of the Christian religion in particular that I don't like, is how people just hide behind um, the, the Bible. And and just or even more so, hell, even even the Bible is is less prone to being used in this manner. It's mostly like the pulpit, anyway. You got one guy promoting a uh, anti-war um, rhetoric while. Taking the very book that basically talks about a war, a god who wars with 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 other nations. Oh yeah, and other things that I'm not going to talk about in this video directly. At least you're going to see it in what I've just prepared before you, because I I think. I think it's important to understand why um why what my feelings are on this but let's let's, let's listen to this um uh, oh the article is written by a I think an Indian Vishaka that's a looks like a Vishnu um in there is a Vishnu in there And I don't like it when this when this guy when people call this homophobic. I like the anti LGBT um term much much better because yeah who wants to be associated with a uh, with a bigot and and how much of the of the anti homosexual remarks were um were just um were just interjected into the Bible anyway. Like, I don't know how true that is, but I've heard people make the claim that that has, that that has been the case. I'm not going to study the Bible as much. You know, I just think this is funny. That this is such an issue. Like... Who gives a fuck what uh what uh what what this Scott Lively made made the comment regarding?
you know, and 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 he says that God that God punished uh, Donald Trump for for his not allowing, you no, know, for his uh, how he handled um um uh, how he handled LGBT issues. Well, I I think that's funny. I think that's such a small issue to be worrying about, dude. Um. Why don't you be worrying about our politicians, which are much worse? Like, this is the issue which which um, Donald Trump has been kicked from the presidency by the almighty God who uh, murdered children. Even unborn children. Nasty, evil God. It's like, excuse me, dude. You know, one, this is such a small issue. It's actually, I would say this is the least important issue. I'm more concerned about, um, I'm more concerned about what the division on our country is going to cause. To be honest, I'm probably going to be going through my uh, tags on YouTube and removing, um, Anything that's political related, the only things that I want to keep are like sticks, Hex and Hammer 666, and maybe Tim Pool, because I might watch those too on occasion. Some ordinary gamer, um, those kinds of channels. But but let's let's listen to what this guy had to say. What's your dumb you don't know the law, that's how stupid you are. Sir, if you can't... You can't use those type of words, come on, boss. It'll cost you $75,000. It's a health code violation to deny service based on someone's disability for one year. So I would love you to do it. It'll cost you $75,000. Or you can look up the law. Do you want to look up the law first? He doesn't know the law, he thinks he's smart. Read Gavin Newsom's law. If you kick me out, it's $75,000. It's your choice, I don't care. Yeah, I have to ask you. You're gonna call the police then. Well, it's $75,000, you're gonna be fine. Call the police. And they'll love this. It's a $75,000 fine. Dumb Mexican guy here doesn't know because he's a big deal. Okay, now we're getting to. You dumb. What's your problem? What's your dumb problem? You don't know the law, that's how stupid you are. Sir, if you can't. You can't use those type. Well, do I have to go in here and enable? What? Okay. Copy that. Copy that. So we just have to watch it here. It said copy the link. And I actually would say, I don't know how that could cause, but... I guess Twitter? So, what's going on here? Um... I guess we can't watch it. Close. 
you know, unfortunately, I won't be able to watch it, but I'm sure you guys could probably, you know, lively expected Trump to bring sweeping changes in LGBT laws, however, however, that did not happen. Instead, the former president spread homosexual agenda, giving, giving Richard a green old, we see, and then, and these are the same people that call Donald Trump a, and these are the people that, and, and you hear John Donald Trump called a homophobe. And actually, Donald Trump has probably been the least homophobic d dude. Like, I mean, anti LGBTQ guy. Like, he's probably more progressive, almost as progressive as Ronald Reagan. You know, it's so funny. I had to bring that one up, but this was just something that I caught. However, yeah, uh, Richard Greenall, high-ranking uh, positions in his cabinet, right-wing wing watch. Yeah, those are probably one of those people that also crud cr cr on uh, Trump. Yeah, yeah. Leave it to the um to the um to the far. To the so-called far right, you know, to the religious right, or or you or the religious right, whatever your um label is, to actually prove that Trump probably isn't as much of a bigot as everyone is had said he was. I mean, last February, we uh, Grinnell um was appointed acting um. Director of National Intelligence, becoming the first openly gay DNI. Um, he also served as ambassador to Germany and a special envoy for Serbia and Kosovo. Peace negotiations. You know, he defied God on a fundamental tenet of the Bible and never oh, he repented of it, lively said. Well, well, and whether it says it in the Bible or not, I you can make a case that that when God said uh, "be fruitful and multiply," that that this was referring to that. You know, the move was to put his own personal stamp of approval on behavior that God condemns. The one thing that he did not did during that time that would virtually guarantee God's favor being removed was to put his own personal stamp of approval on behavior that God condemns. Or you condemn, you know, either you condemn, um, or that the church condemns, but I don't know whether God condemned it. I mean, me personally, I would rather, I'd rather hear it from God's mouth than hear it from man's mouth. Thank you. Approval of on behavior that God condemns in the harshest possible terms in the Bible, and you're an idiot, dude. You're 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 freaking idiot worrying about you. No, you you're a f you're a fucking idiot, dude. You're a fucking idiot. And you 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 think you think that's because you think that's an issue that's worth uh, talking about. The it's more issue we're talking about, which is specifically male homosexuality. Well, what about female homosexuality? I mean, I actually personally don't care. I I don't I don't really care what what one does in the bedroom. It's their their business. And why why should the pa why should why should um the political establishment condemn it? It's not their place to do so. This is America, dude. Um. Lively can continue. Trump fully endorsed and backed and applauded Richard Greenall, an outspoken advocate for the central doctrine of the progressive movement, which is queer theory. It's like I don't know much about queer theory. I don't. I don't really give a rat's ass about that stuff. I don't pay attention to a lot of that nonsense because it's not something that I care for. You know, lively has a long history of propagating anti-LGBT, which is the word you should be using 
which is the word you should be using instead of um instead of homophobic by the way because the word homophobe is getting sick and I'm getting sick and tired of it is plus if it's used a lot against people yeah homophobe yeah homophobe. like shut up lively has um a long history of propagating anti LGBT views and has called for the uh, criminalization of of the public ac advocacy of homosexuality. He is he is the president of California based Abiding Truth Ministries. He also authored the Pink Swastika in which drew a um baseless connection between homosexuality and the rise of the Nazi Germ of Nazi Germany. Ah, so he also wrote cringe. And he didn't even realize that the Nazis actually uh, persecuted homosexuals like the communists. Because, remember, and I kind of wonder if these movements grew out of a Christian movement, out of a somewhat quasi-connection to Christianity or something. We a meme. The meme of homosexuality being wrong. In society, that would be um, wrong. So, and it's basically, the Nazis are just like you. They agree with your views, dude, on homosexuality. You know, they agree with your views on, on the subject. Why are, um, like, any person who knows history knows that the communists persecuted homosexuality and the Nazis did. The Nazis the communists most famously were known for. Um, in 2009, he he has spread anti-gay propaganda, anti-homo, LGBT, I'm going to use anti-LGBT, I actually like that, propaganda in Uganda, and urged lawmakers to crack down on homosexuals in the country, comparing homosexual men to animals. Well, I think the people that basically share a similar view to yours of where animals see, I, your god is more of an animal than you, than, than homosexuals, probably. I mean, I, I can pick up your, your Bible and I can read your Bible and just, like, see, I'm not saying anything new here. I'm not saying anything that hasn't been said by the dozens of atheist commentators um, throughout the years, you know. I'm not even, I'm, I'm just, just saying that this is stuff that, um, that has been said before. Lively claimed that, uh, gays were responsible for the Holocaust and the Rwanda genocide. Well, facts as, as the, as, as, as what some call the great warmonger, what I call the, what, what, not great warmonger. What some call warmonger, what I call a um, a whiny conservative, Ben Shapiro said, facts don't care about your feelings. Actually, actually, the the, the LGBT homosexuals were um, were persecuted by the Nazis. See, I'm, I already said that. You know, but that's kind of they weren't. Uh, they were persecuting other nations, too, I think, by the communists, as I mentioned before. His comments provoked uh, panic in the country and promoted leading newspapers to print the names and photos of Ugandan homosexuals. Pro-LGBT activists filed a lawsuit against Lively in Uganda. However, the case was dismissed due to the lack of jurisdiction American courts had in the matter. In 2014, he ran as an independent for the governor's race, and in 2018, he ran as Massachusetts GOP primary for governor. He lost both elections. Good. I, I think people like that, this, I think people like this should not be elected. Because they are more dangerous, and I can see why this is a bit of an issue um, actually, but that was like in 2009 in Uganda. Now, that was, those are different times. 
2014, I don't think nowadays we have to worry about this. I don't think we have to worry about this as much anymore as we did back in 2019. Um, this is just, um, I thought this was worth um, talking about. And I think I'm going to do an archive.ts to the link so that way um, we don't promote these people. Not promote these people, promote these and uh, the news and whatnot. They should. And I don't know about international business times and how their stuff is, but I better safe than sorry. Bye. Peace out.